Hey, good day, guys. This is Chibuzo Agwani. Welcome to Blogging for Tech channel. Um, in this video, I'll be showing you how to um, change the PHP version in cPanel of your um, hosting server in WordPress. Um, like you all know, um, using the current version of a PHP version, it actually improves the overall performance of your site and also the website speed. So that's the more reason why you have to update. But also, you should also know that there is also downside that that's why, for example, um, updating to a current PHP version might not be compatible to some plugins that you already installed on your WordPress site. So that's the more reason why I said how to change it. That's what I'll be showing in this video. So you don't you don't really need to just update and once your site is still malfunctioning, you maintain the version even if it is not working or um, enhancing the performance of your site. So you need to switch back or revert back to the former version you're using. So that's the more reason why I said how to change the PHP version rather than saying how to update. Um, in this video, I'll be showing you um, three different things. For example, I'll be showing you how to check the PHP version of your server, your hosting server, right from your WordPress dashboard in case you don't know how to do that. And also, number two, I'll be showing you how to actually update the PHP version or revert to an older version that you feel that is compatible to your site. And the third thing I'll be showing you is how to um and talking about add-on domains most, most people are still confused on how to update um the php version of add-on domain you know it's quite different from the original main domain that is attached to the hosting so i'll be revealing the secret to you that you don't already know because it works or that i will show you a, a practical example that it works perfectly and just stick to this video you see what i'm talking about so um chibuzagwa like i said is the name and these are the things i'll be showing you in this video so like i would normally say grab a cup of coffee or your normal fruit juice or whatsoever you like to drink sit on your couch relax and i'll be right back you are welcome to blog infotech youtube channel so you welcome back from the short break. So like I said from the start, blogging for tech is the name of this channel. Um, particularly this is a technology related channel and I do dish out tutorials um, from the how to tutorials, how you can easily carry out so many things that are related to technology. And we cover topics ranging from uh, mobile apps, laptops, PCs, um, phones, um, web app tutorials and also talk about affiliate marketing and also cryptocurrency so I will indulge on you if you're visiting this channel for the first time so kindly hit the subscribe button the red button below this video that you're watching and also turn on the bell notification so that you get notified whenever I release important videos just like this so having done that let us go strictly down to business so like I said I'll be showing you three things in this video the first one is actually how to um, um, update or change the PHP version in cPanel of your hosting server. And um, in reference in this video, I'll be using the name cheap shared hosting, which is the one I'm using. And I believe that um, the, pre and the process or procedure will be similar to any hosting that you're using. So I'm using name cheap um, as a point of reference. And also you will see the reason why you should also start using name cheap from today, if you're not using it, which is the third point I talked about or something I'll be showing or revealing to you. You should start using name cheap from today. And if actually, if you want to actually purchase a name cheap, hopes, um, name cheap hosting, you can actually go to the um, description of this video and I drop a link where you can easily sign up for discounts to have uh, to either purchase any cheap hosting, shared hosting, or whatsoever hosting of your choice. I drop a link in the description of this video so you can check it out during the process. So now let us go straight out to business. I said the first thing I'll be showing you is how to um, change, or switch your PHP version. And I also talked about um, how to um, showing you how to actually know the PHP version of your uh, WordPress server right from your WordPress dashboard. So in doing that, that's the first thing I'll be showing you before. Um, because I want to reveal something before we move down to my C panel. So now let me log into my to my blog and show you something how you can e easily um, detect the the PHP version that your hosting server is running on right from your WordPress dashboard. So I'm logging into the main um, domain or the main website. Yes, the domain that is connected to my host. I'm logging into the WordPress dashboard. So this is the WordPress dashboard. Now, if you've logged into your, so the next thing you will do if you want to um, locate the or know the PHP version of your server is running. As you can see, the left um, corner of the screen where you have the um, various menus. So you actually locate the tool um, menu, as you can see. So you click on tools. Okay. 
you click on tools so you actually um, navigate um, hover around tools then you move to site health site health which will be the fourth um, link on the tool so you click on site health and it's opening so once you um, once the site health window opens so the next thing you will do if you want to look at the PHP version which your um, hosting server is running right from your WordPress dashboard now this is a site health you should you, you, you should see you now click on info select info rather than status the menu was in status before so now I've clicked on info that's I want to know the information of my WordPress site now you scroll down a little bit and um, locate the, the 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 server section you now click on this um, drop down arrow so that the menu will come up so now as you can see these are all the informations of my WordPress sites and this is the PHP version my site is actually running on the 8.0.14 version this is not really the latest version because um, something happened then I actually um, choose the latest version of PHP and there's a conflict between um, this version and the particular plugin I'm running on this side so I have to go back to this very I mean to the um, uh, there's a conflict between the current version the latest version and a plugin I'm running so I have to revert back to this very version so now let's take note of this version and let's and I'll log into my cPanel and see if it is actually the same or if, you, if I'm actually trying to confuse you so I see 8.0.14 so you can see the first thing I've shown you is how to you can easily see the PHP version of your hosting server right from your WordPress dashboard once you go to tools then you click on site health then once you arrive site health you navigate to info then once the info um, window pops up you click the server drop down menu you see all the information concerning your server so now let me go back to my cPanel um, I know I'll have to log in once again so let me start from fresh because there was a time I disconnected my internet so now let me go to my cPanel or let me log into my cPanel right from scratch it's trying to log in now the window sign the login window is up so I'm logging in my details are already there so now once you get to your cPanel the next thing you do if you are using them um, name cheap hosting just like if you should see the first tab it said exclusive for name cheap customers so which means that if um, your host might have its own features which might differ from that of Namecheap as in I'm talking about the cPanel feature but this very feature is exclusive to Namecheap um, customers so you see the reason why I said you should sign up for a Namecheap um, hosting account is quite cheap it's affordable it's one among the cheapest you find out there and they have so many um, web apps and features that you can enjoy so now once you've gotten to this um, portion just like I said I'm using Namecheap shared hosting which means um, I have a main um, a main domain which is this very domain I've opened and I located this then there are so many add-on domains attached to this same um, host which I will be showing you if or what you'll do concerning updating the PHP version of add-on domains so now once you've gotten to this stage the next thing you click on you see this um, select PHP version is a feature that is exclusive to name cheap customers just like I said so you click on select PHP version I want to make this video as fast as possible so now the PHP selector um, um, window or page will pop up so that's what I'm waiting for it's trying to load it's loading so this is a PHP selector just like I said where you can easily change or switch between PHP versions so just like I said 8.0 so now these are the various versions of um, um, or from um, the PHP script just like I told you from the beginning or a few minutes back this is the version that is latest I've selected this version and I notice there's a conflict between this version and the particular plugin I'm using so I have to revert back to this very version so you can see just like I told you now let's go back and check 8.0 you see is the same thing as what we see here 8.0 which is my current version so i'm not using this version because there's a conflict so i have to revert back to this so you can see various versions which you can select once you click this um this drop down menu the vhp version you can revert back to 5.2 5.3 5.4 5.5 5.6 down to 8.1 you can choose any version 
that suits you or, 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 or that has compatibility with the various plugin that you've installed on your WordPress site. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you must use the latest version, but sh um, because I believe that once the version is, re is released, there is, there, there's bound to be some glitches for a while. And uh, I know with time, I'll have to still make use of this version so that there'll be, and I believe before then, there'll be compatibility between the plugins or maybe the, the, the developer of the plugin I'm using might have updated um, he saw her plugin to meet the current PHP version. So you can see from this um, PHP selector section, you can actually choose any version. And once you've chosen the version, you set it as current by clicking this option and automatically you've updated or you've changed or you've switched the version of your PHP script, uh, your PHP server right from cpanel so you can see the steps is quite easy just like i told you it's quite easy so you've learned um i've shown you two things now concerning add-on domains um most people um are, are still confused if actually you have to because uh if you if you go to the knowledge base section of name cheap there was a time that they show uh, they upload a video whereby you have to um include a, uh, a particular script in your ht access file but now that is the revelation I'm revealing to you now. You don't have to pass through that process. What am I saying? Now, let me go to the um, one of the add-on domain on this site. And you'll see that the version that the add-on domain is running is actually the same with what the main domain that I have. So, this is the add-on domain. This is the add-on domain. I've opened the page. So, you can see the version is still the same. The PHP version is still 8.0.14. I open this in actually in another window with using another browser so now let me go back to the main domain you can see the php version is still 8.0.14 so what i'm sure am i trying to say so once you're using um name cheap hosting this is one of the benefits of using name cheap hosting you see that once you've updated the um, the php version of the main domain there is no need for you going through the process of um adding here a particular script or running a particular command through your add-on domains. So I have two add-on domains. Where is the section? Um, I checked the first add-on domains and I noticed that, okay, add-on domains, you see I have two. Right from here, I have to, so now let me go and check the second add-on domain. I have to log in, which is, this is another window. This is another browser automatically. So now let me scroll to the server. I've opened this earlier on for, fastest of this video you can see that it's still running on 8.0.1 for that is the php version so that is the secret i'm trying to reveal so which means that once you're making use of name cheap um hosting server either shared hosting or whatsoever hosting that they have once you've updated the php version using this method that i told you by going through the php selected page once you've updated the version of the main domain automatically your add-on domains are also updated so you can see the benefits of using name chip so um i believe uh, you follow the step i've shown you three things in this video first is how to actually locate the php version uh, uh your server script is running right from your wordpress dashboard by going through tools and also site health so and uh, the second one is showing you how to actually switch between php versions by using the php um, selector tool in your name cheap hosting cpanel and the last one which i have revealed to you is that once you've updated the main domain there's no need for you updating the php version of your add-on domain so with that i believe i've um, done justice to this video and i've come to the end of this video so if you have any question any queries you want to know more about um this very video tutorial that i just showed you can go to the comment section and ask your question and i will answer as soon as possible also if you find this video informative enough i would like you to hit the like button and also hit the share button so that people out there who are in need of this will actually come across this video and learn this tutorial today so with that having done that and in case you've not hit the subscribe button yet i will indulge in you hit the subscribe button the red button below this video that you're watching also turn on the bell notification so that i get notified when i release and that video is just like this so having done that we've come to the end of this video like i said from the start chibuzo agua remains my name and blogging for tech is the channel so subscribe anticipate and wait for my next video so bye bye for now